Hey guys, this is Josh with Danger MCE, and I'm going to be showing you some modding for Fallout 3 in the PC. So, what you want to do is go to Fallout3Nexus.com. I'll have the link. Um, so, just go in, go to Files, and right here you'll see Browse Categories, select Weapons for the weapons, and um, click on the one you like. So, go to, what you're going to want to do is go to fly, Files, click on the Files, another menu will pop up like this, and download the mod. So, you want to open that, and use Windows RAR to open that file. So, extract the file to a temporary folder. So, what I've been doing is, since I have a lot of mods, is I have a folder right here, and I've been having a different number for each mod. So, this is going to be my sixth mod, but I have one unopened or whatever, so I'm just going to name this um, 5. Okay, so... I go back to Windows RAR, go into that folder I created, and you can have any temporary space you want. You don't even need to do this. You could put it on your desktop if you wanted. Um, so go to that folder and extract it to there. So then, here in this folder is the extracted weapon. And right here, okay, so you're going to see a folder that looks like this, and it's going to be .esp. Only copy that, fo that little folder or file and go into your hard drive program files, Bethesda Softworks, Fallout 3 and then go into this data folder right there now paste it into there okay now go back to that same folder where you saved your mod this is where I saved my mod, it'll be different for you and copy the other folders that are there with that .esp file. Okay, now go back into your hard drive. That is the Softworks, Fallout 3. And this first folder that you see is where you want to paste them. So I'm going to paste them in there. And I already have mods, so this if you don't have mods, this won't come up for you. Just press skip and yes like a few times. And then um, press continue. And there you go. So then what you want to do after that is insert your Fallout 3 disk. Okay, once you have the game started, press Data Files. And select the mods you have. Now, since I have a bunch of mods, um, I'll select them all. And just press OK. You usually have to do this every time you start. So, this is, was Josh with Danger MC. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, just send me a message. And um, I'll try and help you with your question.